Good day fellow investors. When it comes to investing, there is only one thing that matters and that is performance. How have you performed over a long period of time? And this is what I want to do here. I have a model portfolio on my stock market research platform that I launched a little bit less than a year ago in May, but every end of April for every year, over the next 20 years, hopefully, I'll show what is my performance so that we can see, okay, is this what you're doing, Sven, worth or not? This is simply something that I have to do. I have to show everything. And the key with this showing are three things. Don't worry about crashes, politics, macroeconomics, just buy value is my first message. The second message, I actually hope to underperform over the first 15 years of my target 20 years in the portfolio. That would be amazing. And three, a good test to see whether your portfolio is good is the 10 year stock market closure rule. Let's start with my portfolio performance and then I'll discuss my mindset when it comes to investing. So as I said, in May of last year, I launched my model portfolio with 10,000 where I add 1,000 per month with the goal of reaching 1 million in 20 years. So to reach that, I have to have a compounded return annually of 12% over 20 years. So I know that one year means nothing when it comes to performance, but I think it's important to show publicly what I do. Skin in the game is everything. Here is what I have done over the past 12 months. My total account now is 25K. I have invested 22,000 and the positive return over the last 12 months is 3,000, in this case euros, because I invest euros. So I have invested 12,000 starting money, 10,000, which means the average invested amount was 60,000, 3,000 on the 16,000 is a return of around 18%. Now, I don't care what the market does, did I beat the market, I just care, I am investing in businesses that offer me a 15% long-term investing return and that's my aim. If I can find businesses that give me that, then this performance with hopefully ups and downs during years should be a long-term lasting performance because the businesses, the earnings of the businesses, the current or the potential future earnings give such returns. And the key here is every business is cyclical nature is cyclical, businesses are cyclical. And if you can understand the average earnings over those cycles and buy good businesses, when the business yield is 10, 15, 20%, the market will reward, reward you eventually. And that's my goal, that's what I am doing. For now, it has been going okay, or actually it is going very, very bad because I would love to have seen negative performance in the first years so that I can add more, buy more of the value, buy more of the cheap stuff for even cheaper. Now with all my positions up, I have to really be selective. Where am I adding the 1000 per month? Just to show you the positions, this is the performance of individual positions since I have bought them. Some are up 80%, 35 some nowhere, one is the last purchase is 15% down. But on average, this shows that when you buy value, actually the risk is minimal. Even if all these stocks are very, very volatile, I believe that if you buy value, the risk is minimal. There were two closed positions, positively closed, Alatzer Gold that we discussed even here on a video. So. If all those stocks would be 30% down, it would be much easier for me to deploy the additional 1000 per month and then I would see much higher returns eventually later. With the market being so volatile and recognizing the value relatively quickly, I'm a little bit limited that results in, yes, positive returns over a year, but positive returns over a year don't matter much. I hope that we will see the same positive returns over an average 10, 20 years period. And that is where my focus lies. And when you're focused on something, you usually find what you are looking for. And that's something very, very important when it comes to investing. And 
the third thing that's very very important is does your portfolio every position in your portfolio or everything that you own on a personal finance level does it pass the 10-year 20-year stock market closure test so each of my portfolio positions if the stock market closes now for 10 years and reopens in 2029 i'm happy with what i own this is my except for one that i'll probably eliminate for the portfolio and i haven't added and it's the small posi smallest position so apart from that all the 10 positions i would be happy that the stock market closes the businesses are great and i forget about them for 10 years that's long-term investing that's value that's business investing not stock market investing and i really believe that business returns can be achieved by business returns and that we are talking about double digit returns over the long term i've did the same over the past 18 years i will do my best also for my subscribers for those that fo follow the model portfolio to do the same for the next 18 years that's all I, that i do that's all that i am focused on and we'll see what happens but the more i research the more i'm positive that it is possible so yes it is possible to beat the market thank you for watching looking forward to your comments let me know what other information should i add here to make even this more uh transparent whoever wants to check what am i doing there is my platform there is a 28 day money back guarantee you can check it you can ask your money back and you can see all my positions all the rationale that is behind those positions what am i doing when am i doing and how am i doing it for free thank you and i'll see you in the next video